Oh, really? Okay, there's quite a lot, quite a lot of lot. space here. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zara Mohammed. This is The Inspiration, Allah, and you're watching Allah. The Secret. What was it? Was for, for the Seeker? Sorry. I know, <laughs> but I was like, wait, there's something <laughs> before For the Seekers. <laughs> For the, great, the other bet was good, right? Was I don't know. Okay. Okay. For yeah, this. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zara Mohammed. This is The Inspiration, and you're watching For the Seekers. Assalamu alaikum everyone and um, for this episode I'm going to be sharing with you some of my biggest monsters in my journey um, of leadership and self-development. I call these monsters the monsters of self-doubt. Now throughout my university career in life um, I faced a couple of common enemies and I'm sure you've probably heard of them too. I'm going to go through them and let's see if you'll recognize any of the ones that I'm going to talk to you about. So number one, I just can't do it. The fear of self-doubt. This is the idea that, you know what, um, you're just not good enough. You're not going to be able to make it. Number two, they don't think I'm good enough. Fear of rejection. The idea that there's judgment around you and, and people just don't think you have the potential or you've got what it takes. Number three, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. The fear of saying no, being a yes man, and this idea that being effective is being busy. So if you're not doing something, then that means you're failing. Number four, oh, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm not good enough. Um, I don't deserve it. Fear of success, a very subtle monster that makes you think that you don't deserve the good that comes your way, that actually your mistakes are what define your life. And number five, but what if this happens? What if I don't make it? What if everything goes horribly wrong? What if they blame me? Fear of the unknown. When you forget about tawakkul and you forget that actually your job is just to participate and put your best effort in, with a lot lies success and the decision, the outcome. So these five monsters are some of the things that are a recurring theme in my life and throughout your university journey you'll also face them. So what are we going to do about it? How are we going to get through some of these monsters that are holding us back? Well what I've learned is that the number one thing um, is our mindset, our attitude. There is a lovely quote that says you don't need anybody, you don't need to doubt yourself because there's already plenty of people to do it for you that actually our limits are those that we give ourselves. And so often I found myself being the first president or the first person to run for this or run for that. And I realized that that lesson was lead a trailblazing life. You know, take the path less trodden and go for it. Because in doing that and in diving in, you find yourself in a world of experience and growth that you never would have done. I often talk about first year of uni, 500 people in the audience and me going to give an announcement and feeling like I absolutely couldn't do it and all I remember is a blur of faces looking at me but I did it and they clapped and guess what I was like oh I think I could do public speaking now so bit by bit number two trust in Allah faith and self-esteem and self-belief are all very connected because Allah tells us that we have been raised uh, to be dignified that the best of nations so really, you've been given all the goodness that you need to unleash your potential and give good to the world. And often you find that when you have a dip in faith, you also have a dip in self-belief. Number three, where's the good company at, you know? Uh, you need to be surrounded by what I call feedback filters. So there's some people, the cheerleaders, they're gonna cheer you on no matter what. And it's very nice to hear, it's nice to get those likes in. But then you need those people that are just gonna tell you it straight give you that feedback that you need to hear, not that you want to hear. So when you surround yourself by inspirational and brilliant minds, or even just normal people, you'll find you can learn a lot, but be prepared and willing to learn. And that's my next point, which is that in overcoming your self-doubt, you need to be in a position to reflect and evaluate and remember that it's okay to make mistakes. I've made plenty of them. 
and I've learned a lot for it. You find that the person that makes the most mistakes grows the quickest. So dive in, like what's the worst that could happen? And even if it happens, so what? You recover. It's not going to be the end of the world, inshallah. Uh, and finally, I think that in all of my journeys and all of my experiences, the number one thing that I would say, if you take anything away from this video, in battling your fear of self-doubt is to remember that ultimately um, our goodness uh, comes back to our intention and our effort. You know, as Muslims, we have to be disciplined. And as people, we have to remember that like we all have a good we can do to those around us. That sometimes you don't need to try and climb Mount Everest. Just that small kind gesture that you did. Every day is small steps to that greater goal. Just keep going. And remember, you can do it. You've got to be your own uh, cheerleader. And you've got to remember that Allah is always with you, no matter what you do. As long as your intention is right and you put the effort in, um, the result is with Him. So don't lose faith. Don't not believe in yourself. And at the end of the day, if, if you're feeling doubtful or if you're worried or stressed, just remember here at Deanspiration, we believe in you. Uh, continue to watch these series and I'm sure you're going to learn so much more. And have an amazing time. Like, it's okay. It's going to be great. And um, inshallah, Allah will be with you and wish you all the best. And I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Remember, this is just one episode in a series of motivating, life-changing and inspirational clips. Be sure to like, share and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Oh, I'm exhausted. Yeah, that was really hard. Oh my God, that was ah. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm here behind the scenes at Deanspiration. We're going to be filming this brand new series. You're it's right. totally getting tagged, shared, hashtagged. 